Today we're using some uh, heavy tip-ups. Uh, we're using 50 pound test line with 30 pound test steel leaders and uh, four aught hooks, treble hooks. We're using uh, large shiners. We're hoping for some uh, some pickerel, a couple large bass, and some uh, some nice big pike. We'll see what happens. Now I got about two or three dozen large shiners in here, and as you can see, I got an air pump hooked up to them. That's going to uh, that's going to keep your bait much much more lively, as you can see. You fish all day with your shiners with no air on them. They're going to slow way down and start to come to the top, trying to suck air. How we're fishing today we're using a steel leader that looks like about a six inch steel leader and a number four hook now what I want to do is I want to put a big split shot on just above this steel leader and that's just gonna keep my bait down where I want it to be these uh, large shiners they got a they got a little swimming power in them now I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and hook up my depth finder I'm just gonna run that through this hole and I'm gonna drop it down until I hit the bottom Okay, I touched the bottom. Now I'm going to come up about a foot, about 12 inches. Then I want to measure the length of my tip up down to the reel. That's going to keep me about a foot off of the bottom. I'm going to put my line marker on. Uh, if I can find it here a little. I'm just using a real small split shot. So when every time I set this, it'll set in the same spot. Roll up my excess line. Roll that excess line up until this split shot touches the reel. And that's where I want it to be every time. Pull my line out. Take my depth finder off. Using a large shiner. Now when you hook this shiner, you want to hook it right behind that dorsal fin and down a little, down a little bit, right where the color changes. Straight through, just like that. It's hooked. Now this goes in the hole. We go ahead and set our flag. This top tip up will be ready. And that's all you got to do.